good morning good morning children good morning to everyone who's watching us in church and if you're watching at home thank you for joining and welcome to another week of children's church thank you for joining us a special warm welcome if you're joining us for the very first time so glad that you could be with us i hope you are all feeling good feeling well i hope you've had a good week enjoying your holidays despite the rain hopefully we'll get some better weather next week nevertheless we're here to worship god and be thankful regardless so please all join me for a time of praise and worship let's focus our hearts and minds on god let's focus on how awesome and how special and how great he is all the things he's done for us how he's seen us through and let's give us let's give him thanks let's just worship him with our whole entire being
and to everyone who really just focused and worshipped God, participated in giving their role in worshipping him. So please all join me in our opening prayer as we bless this service. Dear Lord, thank you for that special time of praise and worship. Father, we believe that you have indeed been with us. You have indeed been with us during that worship and you're always with us. Thank you, Father, that we can always come to you and you hear us. We can always just express how we feel. We can always talk to you. We can always call on you and you answer us. And that is such a privilege. And we do not want to take it for granted. We are so grateful, Lord. Thank you for each and every single one of us joined here today. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for keeping us well. Thank you that you have a plan for us, plans to give us a hope and a future. Thank you that we have all this through you, Lord. We're so grateful. Thank you for our families and our friends our teachers, um, those who we come across, those who have been a blessing to us in any way, shape or form. We thank you for our, for their lives, O oh Lord. We pray for this service. We pray that it will be a blessing to us. We pray that we will learn something special that we will be able to hold on to and apply it to our everyday lives. And not only will it be a blessing to us, but a blessing to others. We believe that you will indeed help us and we will be able to learn and take it all in and apply it, not through our own strength or power, but through your strength, through your grace, through your Holy Spirit living and breathing within us. We thank you, Lord, that you've heard our prayer. We thank you for everything. And we give you all the glory for you're so worthy, all the praise, all the adoration. And in Jesus' name, we have prayed and everybody say, Amen. It's offering time. So now it's time for this week's lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to be learning about the fruits of the spirit. So sit back and enjoy. What kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the Spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples. An orange tree naturally makes oranges. And a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right. And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right. All the fruit of the Spirit. And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. 
But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know! The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas! So, I really hope you were blessed by that lesson. We were learning about the fruits of the Spirit, right? So, how great is it to know that the more we become like Jesus Christ, He puts these characteristics within us. So, I would like to do a quick recap over what we learned in the lesson. So, the first one, the fruit of the Spirit. I'm going to give you the list of the characteristics of the fruits in the Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. The more we become more like Jesus Christ, the more we become those things. Number two, the fruit of the Spirit lets others know, so others are not Christian, I seen other people outside, so maybe people in your neighbours, your school friends, your family members that might not be followers of Christ, lets them know that we are indeed filled with the Holy Spirit. The third point I want to tell you is the fruit of the Spirit grows in us and lets God's Holy Spirit guide us, which means we could be going through our daily activities or we could be at school and someone's upset us or someone kicks a ball at us and it really hurts and instead of being mean back we say, oh ouch it's okay and we forgive them or we show love showing love where you might not think it's necessary and that's why we depend on the Holy Spirit to guide us to make the right choices patience you've been really wanting this for so long and your, your parents might say to you oh do you know what maybe keep working hard on your birthday I will bless you with it and you're thinking I want it now I want it now patience ask God for patience to help you to wait on him. Those are just two examples I thought that I can help you relate to practicing the fruits of the Spirit. I hope it helped. <laughs>so the memory verse for this week is from galatians 5 22 to 23 which reads but the spirit gives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control there is no law that says these things are wrong amen so for today's activities we have two so we've got a song for you all to recap the fruits of the spirit for you to just go over all of them and whilst enjoying this fun song and that will be followed by the fruit of the spirit quiz so you'll have a set of questions and you have some time to answer them 
you can pause them if you are in the younger groups and you want to go through them with your class you can pause them and discuss it with your class or you can just use a timer and go along with answering the questions so enjoy the song and enjoy the quiz Of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you wanna be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You wanna be a watermelon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Okay! Everybody knows that grapes come in bunches! So everybody get in big bunches! The fruit of the spirit's not a grape! The fruit of the spirit's not a grape! You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control
So now it's time for us to share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So now it's time for our 2021 confession. And it reads, I trust God for a year of unusual elevation. I will humble myself daily and stay radically committed to God's word, God's will and God's ways, no matter what. As a result, I will shine brighter and brighter and reflect God's glory every day and in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the end of the service. See you next Sunday.